Welcome to the Power of Prophecy. I'm your host, Master Prophet E. Bernard Jordan, your most trusted name in the prophetic. I want you to know something. I have a word for you, but you got to go to my website, www.bishopjordan.com. That's right. Go to my website. And if you don't have a computer where you are at this very moment, why don't you write that website down and click on free prophetic word. I will send something to you through the mail that will be something shocking, revealing all about you. And you may say, how does this man know this about me? That's just a start. Also in today's telecast, we want to deal with the number one problem we found that most of our partners are having. And most of the individuals that contact us there's usually three areas that people need answers in. One is romance. The other is in health. But the number one situation is finance. I want to help you in the financial department in life. Stay tuned and we'll be right back so we can show you what we're talking about. Don't go away. And each time I would come to church, he'd have more to say to me about current things that were happening in my life, past things, and things about to come. Our economic and business development is a direct result of the teachings that Bishop Jordan has laid down. Oh, I can say Jordan. They said, what'd you say? I said, Jordan, because they always on the mark. Praise the Lord. Welcome to the Power of Prophecy. I'm your host, Master Prophet E. Bernard Jordan. Today we're going to talk to you about an issue that is really on my heart pressing, and that's your money, your finances. Because God's will is for you to get rich. Also, we want you to know we've prophesied to literally thousands of people every year, speaking the word of the Lord into their life, and watch the word of prophecy come to pass in their life. Reverend Run has been a product of, and a fulfillment of the prophetic word, along with thousands of others. And Reverend Run, let's talk for a moment about cosmic economics. You were a part of this teaching. You were on this stage sharing with us. Tell the people about some of the things that they will hear in this cosmic economic series that we want them to experience. Well, the first thing, Your Grace, that um, I began to notice when you gave me the, the manuscript was it shocked me. I was in the tub reading the book, and it told me that in order to manifest, you have to be at peace. Mm. And I had noticed that money was coming in my life, but I wasn't worrying anymore. And each time a financial situation would come at me to try to um, throw me off, I would go back to peace. And this book teaches you the only money that you can ever get is that I am money, mm. that consciousness of being wealth. And when you come out of that to start to look for things and get nervous, where's it at, where's it at, and start chasing things, it runs from you. It almost, it's like the blessing is almost like a mouse. When you go to chase it, it runs from it. But when you're at peace, it just kind of squeaks up right next to you and yes. runs and comes into your pocket. So cosmic economics taught me that I am money. And when it taught me I am money, I stopped worrying about it, and it just started manifesting. And cosmic economics teaches you that you are our money and that God is inside of you not to go out and chase finances. Amen. You know, we're looking at a principle here, Reverend Run. Read Cosmic Principle number five out of Cosmic Economics, and this is the book that you will get um, on page number 12. Read that. It says, it is dangerous to awaken a mind too soon. Yes. Now, when we deal with the awakening of the mind too soon, because sometimes you can have information 
And that information and that power becomes too strong to a mind that is closed. When you came to this church, did you find that you had to take in the stuff in bite-sized pieces as your transformation was happening? The, the, the thing that I loved, I came here, I was still smoking weed. I had my Adidas on, no shoestrings. I was just like doing my thing. You never forced me, pushed me, said, you, you, you have to do this. You didn't force my, um, that, at that time it was my fiance, Justin. You didn't force us into anything. You taught the principles and let us develop in our own time. And that's what, you know, a lot of people get scared to push that button. If I push the button and I get a free prophecy, well, I have to live up to all these Christian rules and all this stuff. But you never pushed anybody. You gently gave me nudges. This Reverend Run, that Rev and never judged me. And the thing that I've been so blessed is I've been able to grow slowly. You, you'd see the sin I was in. You, you knew what I was going through. I mean, you even gave me a prophetic word one time. You said, you know, you need to travel light. And I was like, what does travel light mean? You know, travel light. I'm going away for two months. And it hit me, leave the weed home. <laughs> and when I got to the airport, there was a bunch of dogs sniffing all the bags. And it's just amazing how the prophet has been so gentle in my life and let me mature over my time, God's speed, and not at the speed that someone would think that they have to come in and just drop all of the things, things that you're doing bad. And um, I've been able to develop here, and now I'm cleared out of um, smoking weed, cleared out of any drugs, cleared out of um, being in any type of sexual sin. I was able to just develop at um, a timing that helped me. So where it says it's dangerous to awaken a mind too soon, I was very blessed to have found the prophet rather than some other church where they would have just been condemning me the whole time. I was very lucky. Right. And the Bible says Jesus came not into the world to condemn the world, but he came into the world that the world might be saved. Let's go to this announcement and let's hear what others are saying about cosmic economics. And we'll be right back to talk to you some more about this special. Cosmic economics. We have a principle here, Reverend Run. Cosmic economics principle number six. Why don't you read that thought? It says, man is a spirit that has a soul and lives in a physical body. One of the things that we discover is that we are spirit, and we believe we're spirit. We know that we're spirit. Our body is not us. And that's one of the things that we have everybody say in cosmic economics, my body is not me. That's right. Why do we teach people that their body are, is not them? Because you don't believe in materiality. You believe in the consciousness that what you see is what you be. What's already out here is something that's already done with, it's over with. You're supposed to live in the spirit realm on the other side where you see and are fascinated by things and those things are the, are the way we live. We don't believe in a sickness. We don't believe in our experience, but we believe in spirit. Exactly. And we also teach you as well in cosmic economics, as you can see, Reverend Run's been in every cosmic economics that there yeah, has been. Yeah, I've been to the, all of them, all, all the ones you're traveling and everything. Yes. And we begin to say, if it is contrary, oh, yeah. if it's contrary, then what? It's temporary. It's I temporary. love that one. If it's contrary, <laughs> it's temporary. And that means that whatever's going on in your world, if it's not what you like, it's only temporary. Don't give in. Don't bite the distraction. Your blessing is still coming. And you teach us that I amness, that, that place where you just sit there and become what you see. You actualize it. Yes, amen. Okay, let's go to another thought here out of Cosmic Economics. Um, let's go to page 16. And um, we deal here with let go and let God. And all of this is in the 16. Now I have the 16 CDs here. Then I got the 7 CD audio book that I read to you with the affirmation, with music up under the affirmation. And then you're going to get this book here. You're going to be so filled. You're going to turn your car into a university on wheels. A university on wheels. And that's what this life is about. Spending time investing in your mind and stop investing in your behind. Amen. This is Cosmic Principle number 9. This is my favorite. Giving is the proof that you have conquered greed. Wow. Why do you say this is your favorite? It's Rev? my favorite because this would really turn my life around. Giving, when you're letting go of money, it's proof that you have money. Your subconscious wow. mind just flips out. Like, I thought we were broke. 
So when I came here and I didn't have any money and I kept giving the little I had, something was happening to me that I started believing that I had money. And when I looked at my statement at the end of the year through all the giving and the different philanthropic moves that I was making, something about giving, the energy of giving, it's giving you say is just receiving inside out. That's yes. what you tell people. So that same giving became my receiving. And I'm going to tell you, Bishop, I have more now than I've ever had in my life, more popular now than I've ever been. I'm making 10 times.